which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that... Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet. A naughty person, so shall thy poverty come. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a... James chapter 4 says, Get close to God and he will get close to you. The reason I showed you or am going to show you Proverbs chapter 6 verses 9 through 11 is it says a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands and poverty shall pounce on you. So listen, that does talk about physical lack making you I meant to say that does talk about physical rest, making you lack food. Physical work makes, I mean, physical rest makes you have less of what you need to live. But, but, that passage can also say a little sleep, a little slumber, and poverty will pounce on you. But what that could also mean is the less time you spend with God, the less you will hear him or get close to him. Because John chapter 14 says, If you love Jesus, you will keep his commandments. And James chapter 4 says, Get close to the Lord and he will get close to you. Philippians Fourth says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. First, First Thessalonians 5 says, pray without stopping. So folks, because John chapter 14 says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If we do not pray to want to spend time with the Lord, every time we can prevent, avoid, or discourage interruptions if we do not pray to want to spend time with the Lord every time we can prevent, avoid, or discourage interruptions, we are technically in disobedience because the Lord, like I said, James 4 says, get close to God and he will get close to you. John 14 says, if you love Jesus, keep his commandments. So if we do not pray to want to spend time with him every time we can prevent, avoid, or discourage interruptions, we are in total disobedience. So folks, I hope this video blesses and helps you. If it does, please let me know in the comments and like, share, and subscribe.